Hey friends, it's Clint. Welcome to Sweetcast. And uh, this is, feels like a landmark video. Uh, it was over two years ago that uh, the lawsuit started that uh, your boy Zach, Richard C. Meyer, sued, filed a lawsuit against Mark Wade uh, for tortious interference because essentially what it boiled down to is Jawbreaker. Okay, no, let's start earlier than that. Uh, Richard Meyer and Mark Wade were on Twitter and they would fight on Twitter. And in my opinion, Mark Wade took that way too far. When uh, your boy Zach was publishing his comic, he had a deal with Antarctic Press and Mark Wade put a call in in a very public way, uh, in a you know, grandstanding way. He called Antarctic Press and intimidated them into dropping jawbreakers. Intimidating, persuading, whatever. Uh, they would have published the book had it not been for Mark Wade. Okay? That's how all of this started. Now that over two years have passed, the lawsuit you've probably seen on other channels, uh, other videos, uh, Richard has dropped the lawsuit. Now, that language is very specific. It was not settled. He dropped it. I'm no lawyer, but that's, to me, not the same thing. Um, so we're going to get into specifics here. Uh, now, before I do <laughs> the timing, the timing of all this, I am running a GoFundMe for Charlie Snogans. He's a fantastic artist. It's not, not really for him. It's for his wife. She had cancer. She's recovering from cancer. She's doing great, but, um, they are, are, are left with the aftermath. Now your promise for this is just that it goes to help Charlie Snogan's, uh, family with their cancer bills. That's what the promise is. That is it. Okay. Uh, so if you don't mind helping out, tis the season, this is a good cause, great guy. And somebody that we all want at the drawing board, making comics. And so, um, if you can donate, that is, uh, very appreciated. All right. So Mark Wade, let's do this in order. Okay. All right. So CBR posted this first. I saw it first on Twitter actually. So if, apparently if you were a Patreon supporter of uh, Richard Meyer, you got updates. Now I'm going to tell you right off the bat here. I have an unpopular opinion <laughs> on, on this particular issue today current year what is going on right now and the decision i have an unpopular opinion so brace yourselves and feel free to disagree um i don't think it's any reason to like call my publisher and try to interfere with my contract or anything but just disagree you know that's fine i i realize that but I, i've got to be honest and i'm going to be honest so uh jawbreakers richard meyer drops lawsuit against mark wade not that it was settled just that he dropped it uh, the outcome is essentially, why don't we just get to, uh, well, okay. So CBR has a little bit of a, of, of an angle on it. I'm kind of shocked that CBR didn't lean into the fact that they think that, uh, Richard Meyer is a terrible person, that Mark Way is this, the savior of all humanity. Uh, that, that hasn't been the case. Um, but they still sort of take that slant uh, who was involved, connected to the comic skate movement, speaking of Richard. Um, now, tribalism is really, remember when, from the beginning here, tribalism has been the problem. At the beginning, it was two guys fighting on Twitter, but it wasn't really two guys. It was two guys symbolically representing two groups of people. Am I wrong about that? No, it was symbolic. Now, did they, did each of the parties intentionally choose to represent a group of people? That is the question. I can't look into either of their hearts and minds, but maybe to some extent, maybe not. I, I tend to believe that Mark Wade thought that he was representing a group and that, you know, his ideology dictated that he should use his power and privilege to make the world a better place or what he thinks the world, you know, a better place would be. And so he pulled every string that he could 
to ruin the publishing contract. Um, did Richard think that he was representing a group of people? Or was he representing himself, his opinions, trying to publish a book? I don't know. There, there's a, But my point is, when you see this fight going on, people pick sides. It, it all is tribalism. And whether you pick a side or you don't pick a side, uh, everyone else, all the bystanders are picking a side. They are. Um, is that uh, technically their a fault of Mark Wade or fault of Richard Meyer. No, that's the nature. That's human nature. That's just how it goes, especially right now. That's how it goes. Um, let's see. Wade was among those that had contacted Antarctic press. See, they always say among those because, you know, all the randos on Twitter that contacted, I guess, uh, to complain about the project, Meyer claimed that Wade's contract amounted to an interference with the contract. Uh, yeah, you get the idea. And then it also mentions that Meyer had a GoFundMe that raised over eighty thousand uh, dollars. Richard had a GoFundMe that raised well over a hundred thousand dollars. So there's that. It, it it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant uh, to the article, especially if they don't say what's on the other end of it. Um, but if we do go to Mark Wade, this is not his GoFundMe. This is on his website, but he has a link GoFundMe and this is where it brings you, which is his, uh, receipts. Let me see if his GoFundMe is still up here. There it is still 81,000 raised yesterday. He put out the update. He put out the joint statement saying that, uh, Mark, or, uh, excuse me, Richard had dropped the lawsuit. Thanks people for supporting. And this is basically exactly what uh, Richard did as well. He posted an update and then afterward he thanked people for supporting uh, on the Patreon. Now the, the GoFundMe was set up by, uh, you know, for Richard was set up by Ethan Van Skyver, not by Richard. So there's a, you know, a couple different uh, sections there to understand. All right. So that was CBR. Let's get over to bleeding cool. Again, same thing. This focuses on Mark Zaid posting it. Mark Zaid is a doofus, so I could get really hung up on what he says, uh, but we'll read what he said on Twitter. The comic book defamation case against my client, Mark Wade, that is related to Comicsgate has been dismissed. Have you noticed how they keep doing this? Has been related to hashtag Comicsgate. They did that in the CBR article as well. It's because tribalism. It's because this is this is the def the defamation in their minds. This is the defamation. They don't have to say white supremacist. They get to they get to sidestep that by saying comicsgate. And the funny thing is <laughs> that if you're comicsgate, you're you would clearly you're you're accepting the name yourself. You're calling yourself comicsgate, and so. <laughs> When they're when they're using it uh, as synonymous with you know white supremacists or, or you know whatever else they want to call you, this has become a slur in their minds and it's become a badge of honor uh, in our minds. Uh, it, it's it's kind of silly, and I wish it could go, go beyond that. I wish it could be about individuals <laughs> because that's how that's how all of this started. It started because of tribalism, because of people disagreeing on the internet, YouTube, Twitter, otherwise. And then it, it went way too far and it gets, it gets built up. Um, and, and I'm specifically saying Mark Wade took it way too far. That's what I'm saying. Um, it's been dismissed with prejudice. Well, it was just dismissed. It, it wasn't dismissed. It was dismissed. I don't know what the legal terms are. It might have technically been dismissed, but it was dropped by Richard. Um, all right, so fan reactions here. I've got to tread lightly. I get that. Um, I have seen, and I know, this is where I think I have an, an unpopular opinion. I know a lot of people are very upset about this. One, because maybe you uh, supported it financially. Maybe you put money towards suing Mark Wade. That could be the case. 
and, and I'll, well, okay. So first let me state my opinion, my stance on this. I'm very disappointed. I was hoping that there would be, uh, some kind of precedent set. There'd be some kind of outcome. There would be some consequences. And I'm going to set consequences aside for a minute because, uh, whether there were legal consequences, there were absolutely consequences. So we're going to look at that. What are the consequences? Um, so at the same time that I'm extremely disappointed, do I, uh, am I mad at your boy, Zach? Um, no, I'm not. I'm not because I'm not the one in the lawsuit. I'm not the one that has to live with it every day. I, I can't speak for him. I, I've, I'm only speculating, but that's got to be miserable. And I'm sure that Mark Wade spent many sleepless nights worrying about it. I don't care how, what your legal position was and what your lawyers say, you have to, that has to be miserable. I've never been in a lawsuit, knock on wood. Um, and so this is again, where tribalism, it becomes actually a bit of a problem because this lawsuit where Zach initially, Zach himself, Richard Meyer, was the victim and it was his choice to bring up a lawsuit and it would be his choice to drop it. The fact that this one publishing deal symbolically, you know, it was, it was, it was symbolically all of us fighting against SJWs, how they can and can't throw their weight around. That's why so many people, that's one of the reasons why so many people are disappointed. And of course, obviously if you've put money um, into fighting this legal battle. Now, I, we may never know exactly the toll, the legal toll, the, the the monetary toll that this took on Mark Wade. Um, I'm guessing it was very difficult because at any moment, Richard could have dropped the lawsuit. At the same time, he could also have kept going. Um, Mark Wade didn't have that option. He could have offered to settle uh, who knows how many times, but ultimately it wasn't his decision to make this process end. It was Richard's decision. All right. So here's Cam. Uh, Cam, if you're watching, I uh, love you, buddy, but yeah, don't contact anybody. These are just people's opinions. All right. So if people want to support Zach, go ahead. He took money from supporters because he chose to lead the fight against cancel culture. He surrendered, which is a win for those people. I see it as a betrayal and will not support him again. Um, I am, I am absolutely disappointed that there's not an outcome guys. I, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm not upset I, with, with Richard because again, he was the one going through it. Um, was it us that made it our thing? I'll tell you, it got me in. <laughs> this is what got me into comics gate. This is what got me into self publishing books and ultimately, was this to fight for the right to get published, to be published by any publisher? Or was it um, just our side versus your side? If you want to be published by a publisher, you should test those boundaries. You should, I mean, if, you're, if you've got a publishing deal, get published, do it. Because, I mean, that's what the fight was over, wasn't it? Um, clearly, clearly, I don't think it was uh, a couple of responses here. have to disagree. Zach fought the good fight. Uh, his success with his book is the true victory in my opinion. Um, and then here's another response. Yeah, except he's in danger of losing all that support because of dropping the lawsuit, uh, losing all that support. Yeah. I I've got to wonder, I don't know. I, I just, I don't go this far as saying I'm, I'm not going to support him. I, I don't get that, but there's a meme. Um, apparently I don't understand all of this, but <laughs> apparently Mark Wade won, um, despite having lost an awful lot of money, uh, Aldous on the farm again, I think it mod on my channel, Aldous. Hey, love you, man. Uh, disappointment is a word that does not go far enough to express my reaction to this news, nor does disgust. Yeah, the, the strong words. Um, now last thing I want to go over here, we're going to talk about the consequences, but 
but first, uh, so in here they mentioned that basically it's a new world. What is happening now is very different. One, these are the reasons. One, Jawbreakers was successfully published, and two, COVID-19 has significantly impacted the world around us. Those are the two reasons that we have, and really the only reasons. Um, now, you could say because COVID is hurting people, is Mark Wade really suffering because of COVID? Could, could this lawsuit be extremely backbreaking and destroying his life? And uh, Richard is offering him some kindness by ending the suffering. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I should read into that. Or does this mean that today, two years later, over two years later, this is a different world that we live in. And now this lawsuit has become a moot point. Was this about being able to publish with a publisher if you want to and not have someone interfere with it? You know, at face value, that's what the lawsuit was about. So he did publish his book. Would he want to go back to Antarctic Press? Of course he wouldn't. It would make no sense. Um, or was this lawsuit about throwing your weight around and trying uh, to control other people in comics, using your so-called power and privilege to influence who can and cannot be in comics? For me, that's what it was about. But that's not what the lawsuit stated. That's not that wasn't anywhere in the lawsuit. That's not what it was about. Um, so in conclusion, the consequences here, I think Richard, I think your boy Zach has been just fine. I think he's going to continue to do well. Um, I think he's probably going to lose some supporters over this, maybe even temporarily for some. Uh, personally, I'm a bigger fan of, Richard Meyer than I am a hater of Mark Wade. I would much rather forget about Mark Wade. In fact, I have. Um, I think it's terrible. <laughs> I am so sick of SJWs getting power everywhere, not just in comics, everywhere. And they use that to lecture you. They use that to uh, try and prevent you from getting opportunities and make you happy uh, to do it. It's the weirdest thing. It, I don't like this for our culture. It's terrible. Um, but did Mark Wade pay the consequences? Is he going to do this again? I'm not sure that we'll ever really know personally what this did to him, what it cost him. Uh, two years of paying lawyers, paying legal fees. I'm not sure what that did. Do you think that Mark Wade is going to contact a publisher again? I don't know. I don't know if Mark Wade is actually going to be active on Twitter again. Time will tell. We will find out. Um, but uh, I don't know. If you want to get published through a publisher, go for it. I don't care who... If you want to work at Marvel or DC, go for it. If you get the opportunity, go for it. Make them kick you out. Um, if that's really what the lawsuit was about, then then you ought to do it. If you have no desire uh, to work for any of these publishers, then I guess really nothing has changed. You, you know, you're still making your own comic books. Nothing has changed. Uh, anyway, thanks. Thank you for listening to my rant. Appreciate it. I realize this is a long video, but. Uh, it, there's a lot to unpack and I think we could have even gone over it in more detail. Um, a lot of content out there anyway. So appreciate everyone for watching. If you disagree, tell me you disagree. I respect your opinion. Uh, please do. I basically mine is yes, I'm disappointed of course, but that's, I mean, it's not a reason why I want to, you know, throw Richard under the bus. Um, so, but yeah, I guess you're welcome to do what you'd like. Um, if you want to help, oh gosh, where is it? If you want to help support Charlie Snogan's family through a tough time, um, I know he's not super happy with me doing this, um, but that's because he's a man and he takes care of his own. He's doing a great job, but I, I think that there are a lot of people out there that want to help out how they can. 
We already raised uh, four, over 4,000 in the first day. I think 5,000 takes the edge off and it, it's great. Anything helps, even a couple bucks is fantastic. And I appreciate everybody that helped out here. And again, your promise is nothing more than, than just to help out uh, this holiday season. So thanks very much. And I will see you in the next video.